This is how Young Thug producers do their melodies. I just literally use the spins 808 and it hits so hard, just like in their whole album. Which Poppin' Game, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a Young Thug type beat in FL Studio. If you wanna download any of the drums that I use in this video, there will be a link in the description. Which Poppin' Game, I'm gonna show you exactly how a beat that Young Thug will probably get on. And I'm basically just using straight recycled sounds, not too hard. And I'm gonna show you exactly like how Southside and stuff actually make their beats hit hard and stuff like that. But let's jump into it. So. Here is a sound that I found that sounded really good to me. It was super easy to play. I wanted to find a guitar. You know, sometimes some of his beats have guitars and stuff like that in there. And this guitar right here, it sounds really good. It actually sounds like a real guitar, but I, I layered it with some effects on it. Added some EQ, added some reverb. These reverb, it's a really good reverb. I actually used this on this song. It almost acts like a doubler. I really like the way how it sounds, especially when you match it with the guitar and it's just out of this world. Next thing I added was just a Spreader, you know, I just wanted to spread the sound out a little bit, enhance the sound. And then the last thing I added was this reverse effect, which only comes in on the second part of the verse. When you're making a melody for Young Thug, try to keep the notes in like a third step pattern. You know what I'm saying? See like there's, there's a bar, there's a bar here, there's a bar here. I literally used three notes in those bars. You know what I'm saying? And I just played around with the notes and this is what the guitar sounds like. Thought that sounded so good. Thought that sounded so dope. Next is pretty much just some choir. So here's the choir that I play. I wanted to keep it like straight 808 Mafia type style. You know what I'm saying? And I literally added two different choirs. One of them was just a straight regular choir, which is this one. And this one sounded really good. But when you pair this with another choir, which is from Omnisphere, and they both sound really good together. You just turn one of them down, the other one up a little bit. This choir right here paired with the other one. Oh my God. Let's just hear it real quick. Here's the choir. Sounds like a, a dark choir, 808 Mafia style. And as far as melodies, that's pretty much it. Like I said before, like earlier in the beat, I turn on the reverse effect on that guitar and that's pretty much it. Next, you can see, you see this little thing down here? This right here is the classic 808 sound. The now that's what it normally sounds like, right? Well, actually the real sound sounds like this. When you drag it in, what you wanna do is you wanna stretch it all the way to the bar. And then when you bring it into your piano roll, hit F4. F4 is the, the exact note that they're using. But you wanna make sure that on the actual file, you wanna make sure it's on auto. And then you wanna right click on where the sound is, the uh, 808 Mafia horn thing, whatever it's called, siren, kill bill sound. Right click on it and then click on cut itself. And then when you play it in that note, you wanna have another one that stops right after that. So it, it kind of cuts itself, you know what I'm saying? In, so it has a little bit of a stopping point. And then of course, put some, you know, reverb delay on it. You know, with the reverb, I just added the uh, large hall. And then with the delay, you know, I moved it all the way up to eight to an eighth bar reverb and it sounded like that. So it sounded pretty good. Next is pretty much just the drums. So let me go ahead and jump into the 808. This is the 808 right here. Turn up all the volumes and all that. That's pretty much it on the 808. Let's just hear it real quick. That sounded really good. You know, it sounded like a straight 808 pattern, like from 808 Mafia. Not too many, not too many rolls, not too many hits all over the place. And then the next thing that was pretty complicated is the hi-hats. So let's go ahead and jump into the hi-hats. All right, so these are the hi-hats here. You see there's a lot of rolls and stuff like that. You want to make sure, you know, you get your rolls in where it's not, sometimes it's not really on the bar, but it's almost going to, you know, the next bar. You know what I'm saying? Put some rolls into that point. You know, put some rolls exactly where like the kick hits or the 808 hits at that moment, it actually sounds really good when you do stuff like that. But uh, let's just hear this hi-hat real quick. So it sounds really good. It has some lot of rows in there. Mainly some of those rows hit exactly where the 808 hits and it, it just kind of brings this illusion that it just sounds even more harder. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, next is just the clap and then that's pretty much it. And with all these sounds together, the whole beat sounds like this. Simple B. 
be super easy to make, but it sounds so good at the same time. So the next beat I'm gonna jump into is another sound, is another beat that Young Thug will probably get on. And you know, I tried to keep it in the same keys as his latest hit and kind of in that same field of like the drums and stuff like that, maybe a little bit different, but something that Young Thug would actually get on for sure. Okay, so in this one, I used a lot more layering, a lot more sounds. So I used two different sounds right here. One of them was the studio vibe type guitar thing. It, it was more of like a bell kind of thing. Um, I mixed that along with this other sound, which is a piano. And I played this in like an E, B minor. A lot of his good songs, you know, some of them be like in E, B minor and stuff like that. So he, he likes to keep in that range. With these notes, like they look very simple, right? But I'm using complete control, right? And I have my plugin inside of complete control and I'm using this scale feature. So I'm actually playing scales. As you can see here, it says D sharp or D minor or whatever, but it's really E, B minor and they're kind of the same notes or whatever. So if you guys don't know that. Yeah, so look at here, it's a minor scale and this, this complete control is actually free. You could download this thing for free and turn any VST into like a, a chord or, you know, play in a, on a scale and stuff like that. Every note that you hit on your keyboard will actually be in scale. And I love this thing. I use it all the time. It helps me with beat block. With those sounds together, that pattern right here sounds like this. So that's my main melody that I have right there for the hook and stuff like that. And you can see I added a few effect tricks and stuff right there, effects on it. Um, it sounds really good, I think. So next is another piano that I found that I felt like went straight with it. Um, it was dope. I just turned it down to a lower note and it's still the exact same thing playing. And here's what it sounds like with this exact piano. So that sounded pretty good. I added some more layers and stuff like that because I, I wanted it to sound a little bit more full and you know, there's dope simple beats out there and stuff like that and that's great, but I just wanted it to sound a little bit more full. So I added this little filter and I added this toy piano. So I just basically added a bunch of pianos together to create a sound. This is what this pattern sounds like. So it sounds something like, you know what I'm saying? Like a little, little weird, a little different, you know what I mean? Just to take the person out of the element into a new light, you know, this is something different. This is something that Young Thug could probably, you know, go crazy on. All right, next is pretty much the drums. I went simple on the drums. I always like to go kind of simple on the 808, but just make sure it hits hard. Um, as you can see here, uh, you can see my tempo here. That's the normal, like, wheezy out of here type tempo around 120, maybe one, maybe like 113, 119, uh, same thing. but. Uh, um, here's the 808 pattern that I clicked in. That was the 808 pattern. It sounded really good, uh, but you know, you gotta add some hi-hats in there. So that's what I did here. Added some few rows here, mainly when the 808 hits, like I said earlier, when you add rows, like exactly like when the 808 hits and then pitch down the uh, hi-hat a little bit, it sounds so good, like really good. Like let's just go ahead and play the hi-hats real quick. So that hi-hat sounds really good when you play everything together. And sometimes like they use this rim shot right here. And it just sounds so good. Like when you just play the whole thing together. And that's what I'm gonna do. And also what they also add is this uh, reverse open hat thing. So I added some of those in there as well. So with everything played together, the whole beat sounds like this. video was able to help you make young thug type beats you know what i'm saying so these beats were really similar to some of the beats that he got on so i know for sure that he will probably get on these beats let me know what videos you guys want to see on this channel hope you guys stay safe and remember it's only a matter of time peace